gang like we adopted her. Got a low key freak, I save up pics, but I welcome if you are new and welcome back if you're a returning viewer today i will be doing a closure wig install right now i'm just applying her makeup shade and spraying it with got to be free spray and i will be showing the shade that i use for her but it's in ruby kisses cream foundation So right now, I will be applying the wig to her head. You see me adjusting the straps in the back. And then once I put it on, I'll ask her, does it fit? Does anything feel uncomfortable? Is it too tight? And she'll let me know. And then that's when I will take my time to fix anything. But today, she wanted to do a completely glueless install. So for this install, I don't use hairspray either. Just literally put it on, cut the lace, and that was that. So in this part, I'll be taking the back part of the closure and I'll be using it to cover the tracks. I'll use my wax stick and my hot comb to smooth everything down. And then I also will take sections from each side of the part and would start smoothing everything down so everything is flat. So I wanted to show you guys an up close view of how the laces blended with the makeup and also how I make my scissors go into a zigzag motion when cutting the lace. So now we are discussing about how short she wants it. She just want a little trim off the ends, so I'll be taking my clippers and doing so. So before you do any type of cutting, you want to make sure all of the hair is straightened out. So you don't have any crinks or anything that will cause the hair to be uneven once she goes to flat iron it maybe when she's at home or just anything so you just want to make sure everything is straight for whenever you get ready to cut So this really isn't a tutorial on how to cut it into a bob. I just left this clip in just to show you guys what I was doing. 
but um so i'm just trimming it to her desired length you can use scissors when cutting or clippers i just don't have any good scissors at the moment but um i knew where she wanted to cut it so i went in with my first mark and then i'll just use my comb and my hands to just follow where the hair was previously cut and then that's how i go all the way around So now that I have everything cut from side to side, I'm just going back in just to fix any mistakes or just any hairs that didn't get cut. So to get her flyaways down and to get everything looking smooth, I just take the wax stick and then I also use my spritz um, hairspray and I sprayed it over top, not a lot, just lightly. And then I'll be using my hot comb to follow up just to smooth everything down and keep everything in place the way that I want it. So I'll be taking the lighter shade that I used on her in the Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation and going along her part. And then I'll use the black spray in the rat tail part of my comb just to cover up any mistakes or just anything that's not in line. Now this is something that I do with like every install is just take my spritz hairspray and just brush it along the front of the hairline just to kind of give it like a push back smooth look. Here's the completely glueless install with no glue or hairspray. Please give me a like, comment, and subscribe. And please turn on your notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. And please stay for the end, for the end results. I have a video where it's close up and everything. And thank you.